Well, tonight, all eyes are on I-95 in Norwalk as crews work to demolish the heavily damaged overpass and ultimately get the highway back open after Thursday's devastating tanker crash. CBS 2's Tony Aiello live once again in Norwalk with an update for us. Tony. Maurice, they're making some progress. It comes at a price, an estimated $20 million to clean up this mess and eventually replace the Fairfield Avenue overpass. The immediate goal, reopening I-95. Machinery in motion. An excavator-mounted jackhammer carving away at the concrete Fairfield Avenue overpass just a day after it was roasted. Be advised, it looks like it's fully engulfed under an overpass when a three-vehicle accident caused a fuel tanker fire. Governor Lamont visited the scene on Friday for an update on removing the fire-damaged structure. The bridge is uh, found to be uh, incredibly unstable, and here we are um, a little more than 24 hours later, and uh, that bridge is going to be down uh, very soon. It can't be soon enough for those suffering in hours of detours onto local roads. The closed stretch of I-95 handled 160,000 vehicles a day. Many of them trucks delayed making time-sensitive deliveries. Two and a half hours. And your thoughts? No comment. <laughs> Topic, as far as the eye can see. Pizzeria owner John Nealon says the mess has really cut into business. Same thing at Zach Lara's barbershop. The customer don't even come in, inside the business at this point. I believe that they're going to be like that into Monday. That barbershop owner told me his drive to work is usually 15 minutes today, an hour and a half. It is hard to overstate the impact the closure of the road is having here with all the spillover traffic. These crews will work through the weekend to get I-95 reopened by Monday morning rush hour. Maurice. Difficult there. Tony Aiello in uh, Norwalk tonight. Once again, Forrest, thank you. And while those roads remain closed, Metro North is adding service for the weekend. On Saturday and Sunday, two additional trains will operate on the New Haven line. Cars will also be added to all trains to be able to carry more people. That is for weekend service as well as the Monday morning ride. Metro North says it's working closely with Connecticut Department of Transportation officials to make schedule adjustments until all of the lanes of that highway are fully reopened.